Good morning, modern standards. It's a balmy 15 degrees out this morning. It's a little chilly. We might just be nuts for harvesting our chickens right now, but it needs to get done. Now it's 5 a.m. We're not going to stop processing our birds this early, but we want to get the wood cook stove going and going nice and warm. I'm trying to think of a different game plan for harvesting the birds. I'm going to try harvesting and plucking them all at once, leaving the birds whole, setting them aside in the cooler because it's plenty cold enough today. And then bring all 25 up to the kitchen and we can viscerate them inside. I think that's going to be the best way to do it with how cold it is this morning. For my comfort. Well, we've got the Kalamazoo wood cook stove up to temperature. It's saying the oven is up to 450, 475 degrees. The fire's going nicely. It's comfortable out here in the kitchen. If you buy a Bayou double jet burner, you're going to need to replace the regulator. We put a 40 PSI regulator on it. It's not even halfway turned up. And that thing's cooking. Look how red hot everything's getting. That water's just about boiling. Perfect. And we've only had it on there for five minutes. Awesome. We got our scalder set up. We got warm water in there that's up to 127. We're gonna dump five gallons of boiling water in there. And we got our plucker. Let's see how good this plucker works. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight. Totally so much faster than plucking. And not only that, the bird just comes out so much cleaner and beautiful looking. The birds we hand plucked last weekend didn't look nice and clean like that. I am still just amazed at how clean these birds are coming out. An automatic plucker is so worth the investment. Not only is it quicker, but the carcass just comes out so much cleaner. If you have a few feathers here and there, that's no big deal. Well, at least just left on. I gotta hose them off when we get them in the kitchen. But I don't know, being like in a washing machine, I think it just cleans up the skin and just looks beautiful. Especially if you plan on selling your birds or giving them away. Looks a lot more professional this way. It's right now maybe 20 degrees out and everything has been working flawlessly. I'm happy. I was concerned with the temperatures, but so far so good. Fingers crossed. Last two birds are plucked. 9.46, we started around 8 p.m. So an hour and 46 minutes to pluck it to the 25 or 26 birds one person in 20 degree weather. I'm happy with that. That went well. Now we need to clean everything. I have hot water out to my hose, so we're gonna be using the hot water to hose everything down, clean it up, and let it dry off before it freezes, and then we'll put it in the basement. The location of the on-off switch on this plucker is awesome. It's right there. I don't gotta bend under the plucker every time I need to turn it on and off. Hot water works awesome when you're cleaning everything up. And at this point, when you're cleaning everything up, your hands have been in water quite a bit, so they're pretty easy to cut. You're dealing with stainless steel. Put some gloves on so you don't cut yourself. It doesn't take much when your hands are this soft.
one of my biggest fears today was that the scalder wasn't going to be able to keep up. It was 13 degrees out this morning when I got up. It was 20 when we started harvesting. I don't know what the temperature is right now. I'll have to check. But the scalder kept up perfectly. And then it maintained the temperature of 147 to 148 the whole time for two hours while we were processing the chickens. Whew. Now that we're in the kitchen, I'm hot. Take off my coat and my hat. And we'll get to work. We have a cooler over here with cold ice water. Also going to pour in some raw apple cider vinegar. This is helps with antiviral, antibacterial. Being pasture-raised birds, we shouldn't have a problem, but just to be on the safe side. We have our chickens. Normally we would do them right after they came out of the plucker, but today being so cold, we're not worried about that. We got our stainless steel table where we're gonna eviscerate. We got our sink for washing them out. And then we're gonna store them in the cooler until they're all eviscerated, and then we'll bag them all up and set them over here. And I place it in the cooler until we're ready to bag them. The wood stove serves for a good place to keep your coffee warm too. I just checked the temp, it's two o'clock and it's 27 degrees out and the sun is shining. So this morning I bet you it was maybe 22 for a high when we were out plucking the birds. Now that they're all eviscerated and in our cooler, we're gonna go through them, make sure they don't get rinsed off again. If they do, we'll rinse them and then I'll bag them up. We already have 14 birds wrapped up and in the freezer. So we got one, two, three, Six birds, and last weekend we did 21. a couple of chickens and we tried tucking the legs into the skin, the skin broke. So I'm going to tie them up with some butcher's twine. We're using the small chicken bags from Coops and more. I believe they measure 6 by 19. We prefer these ones better. They're thinner, so they shrink a lot nicer. They make all different sizes for different birds. If you're going to be raising broilers, I do not recommend the 6x19. I'd go to the next size up. Our scalder is set for 185 degrees. That's the temperature we want to shrink the bags. Last bird in a bag. Nice. Take our straw.
The nice part about using the scalder for this is you don't got to worry about the water getting too hot on you. It's got an automatic thermometer. You just set it and forget it. There you go. A nice marketable bird if you want. A nice way to store it in your own freezer. There, that's the last bird. Don't that look pretty? That's beautiful. That right there is why we do it. 26 birds down. If we would have had this plucker last weekend, we would have got all the birds done, me and Gina. And I wouldn't have had to been out here again today. But that's all right. I'm thankful for the new plucker. It worked awesome. I'm thankful for the outdoor kitchen. It worked awesome and I'm so glad we built it this year. It's been a huge blessing and it's not even set up all the way. Once we got it set up completely, it's gonna be a huge game changer for us and our family for providing our own food and preserving it. It's been a long day, but it's been worth it and we got some great fruit for our labor right here. Not gonna weigh this batch up, I'm sure it weighs a little bit more than last week's, but I'm not thinking too much more. The birds don't look that much bigger. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna 8. There's a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.